The California Green Business Network provides free sustainability support to a variety of different types of businesses to help them with waste reduction, energy and water conservation, pollution prevention, and emissions reduction. Here to tell us more is the program director, Brooke Wright. Brooke, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Yes, of course. You know, we all need to go green. It's very, very important. But in terms of the California Green Business Network, tell us who the business is and what exactly you do. Sure, definitely. Well, yes, we all need to go green and whoever has time for that, right? It's always <laughs> the problem. We all want to do the right thing and it's yeah. so hard to make time. So the California Green Business Network, we're a nonprofit and we work with cities and counties throughout California to be able to help businesses not have to become experts in everything mm. in order to do the right thing. So we try to help them not need as much time for them, you know, the owner and the staff, and be able to still do the right thing, get green um, with us helping them along the way. Amazing. So yeah, so we're a nonprofit, we work um, with cities and counties, and we can serve basically any business practically any business across the state of California. That's incredible because I know a lot of businesses have been taking advantage of the services, but what are some of the services that the businesses can utilize that will really help them go green? Yeah, sure. So we try through our program, we try to go through a set of standards based on what the type of business is. So if it's a restaurant, there's certain things we'll work with them on versus if it's a home-based office, um, even a farm, manufacturing, any of these different things, we'll have different items that they'll do to be able to go green so we'll make sure that um, if there's ways that they can save energy that we tap into those these will also help them save on their bottom line mm -hmm. uh, we also work with um, with water to help them conserve water which is so important in this yeah. um, in this state especially and we'll help them save waste, help them learn the best practices. Everybody's always confused. What exactly do you put in your recycling bin? What do you yes, put? Yes, that is a hot know. topic oftentimes. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> deal. And it really matters to do the right thing. And it's yeah. not that hard to learn, but we're able to help kind of get them through all of that. That's and it. usually, almost all the time, when a business works with us on this, we're also able to show them their greenhouse gas emissions reductions, their waste reductions, all of those things, but also help them save money, like I mentioned. So. And that's the big part, right? It's Everybody really wants important. to save a little bit yeah. of money, especially out here in California where the cost of living is a little high for everyone. But you mentioned a few right. different services that you all provide, but energy efficiency. Tell me a little bit more about that and how you help so many people. Yeah, so one of, one of the really great things about our program being linked with cities and counties and all the agencies is we're always aware of what resources are available for the business. And a lot of times it's really hard for a mom and pop shop owner to know about these things. So right now there's a program through PG&E that is for specifically those small businesses, um, especially businesses that don't even own their space, businesses that don't speak English for their first language. And this program especially helps those businesses be able to get facilities upgrades that will help them mm. save money. So for instance, um, maybe they're in a, a shop that has old fluorescent lighting and this program for free will bring a contractor out to help them identify those things that can help them, um, that can get replaced by the program. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, save them money at the end. Save I know I keep money. saying it, but it's, but it's so important. important. It's, it's so important. important. Not only just for in general for everyday people, but truly small businesses as well. So right. it sounds like a lot of people can really benefit from going green. Absolutely, yeah. Their margins are so tight. They don't have the staff. They, you know, if you go to a big corporation, they'll have a, you know, sustainability officer. They have sustainability staff that will go and find all these things for them and help them do it. So we try to meet that need for those smaller mom and pop shops. Amazing. And if you were to, you know, speak, be speaking to certain businesses, and I know we talked about some of the programs that you provide, but what would you tell them in terms of why go with the California? California Green Business Network. Yeah, so there's a few reasons. One is, as I keep mentioning, it will, we will do the best we can to help them not only do what's best for the planet, but what's also best for their profits, but also for the people that they're serving, their customers, and also their staff. Um, so that's that's one thing I would definitely tell them. And also that when they work with us, we really create a network of green businesses. We promote the businesses that do the program with us. So we're really helping meet their bottom line, not just by helping reduce their utility bills, but also by helping them connect with other potential vendors and customers and get the promotion and recognition that they deserve for doing what's 
best for all of us. And what do, uh, what do businesses have to do to get involved in the Green Business Certification Program? What does that entail? So it really entails going through with our dedicated staff, finding out what are those opportunities to help with their sustainability and their carbon footprint. Mm. So we'll work with them, for instance, identify if they're using some cleaning products that aren't really um, safe to be around and, you know, th that are more toxic. We'll work with them to find um, green cleaning products. And um, uh, other options are such as the lighting that I mentioned, uh, taking on if they haven't already. I think most businesses are going to be required to do this, but if they haven't already started doing composting on site, then we'll help them do that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, those are some of the examples. Doing green purchasing is a big part of it too. Helping your staff find alternative transportation routes and not be driving, a, you know, in single. Yeah. occupancy cars. Those are some of the examples. Uh, well, it just sounds so helpful and so many services that can really assist a lot of these businesses out here. So what are, what's the feedback that you've received from a lot of the businesses who have gone green? Yeah, we have actually done some research and, you know, doing surveys of those that have done it. And almost all of the businesses say that they've learned things out of doing the program, but also that they've found it's helped them with their bottom line. So I really want to just keep emphasizing that it always feels like something that, oh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe I can't, you you know, don't have time for that now, but really the sooner a business owner is able to just do that first step of getting started, the sooner we're going to be able to help them start saving money and getting that marketing benefit. Amazing. So one last question before I let you go. How can sure. people get involved? Sure. The first step, it's so simple and it's a very tiny step, is you just go and um, you register at our website, which is greenbusinessca.org. Uh -huh. There's a button right there. It takes two minutes. Register and then our staff will be in touch and making the next step happen for you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Brooke. We do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us. Of course.